Hi everyone and welcome back to the Everything Base as we will hopefully will tackle this indeed. Hello YouTube and as I mentioned before YouTube has been very good at saying hello and goodbye even so uh, thank you YouTube for, for your support in that. Always good to see the, the two communities uh, sharing that. Um, yeah yeah so what, uh, this was it wasn't it? I put these pumps in here to uh, to try and take the sour gas out and then you can well you can see what's happened we have to use granite because we do not have enough of that. Uh, we have to go over there. Uh, basically, um, I like salt, uh, a lot of salt. A lot of salt. Um, <laughs> we we'll go for a save. Saves are getting a little bit longer. Um, yeah, then what we'll do is we'll just use a. Uh, I think we'll just deconstruct these. Deconstruct these. I guess we can pull that. Oof. I can use all of our iron. I kind of want our iron. We have a lot of lead over here, though, right? Grab lead. Hopefully, where lead won't melt. Uh, yeah, should be fine. 300 should be alright. Granite camera. Yeah, but it's 300 degrees in here. It's, uh... It's hot, but it's not... It's not melty hot. Fingers crossed, anyway. Um... Uh, so yeah. Take some of these out as well. And then we'll use a filter. Can we just use a normal filter, or...? We use a power filter. We got, we got loads of power coming off this thing, right? So... You don't actually have to worry about that. It's also what's great about um, uh, Thermium is that you can just chuck stuff wherever you want and it's like, yep, that checks out. There you go. Hopefully that works. I think we've got some more prints, but say, I'm really not looking to take on dupes right now, so you know, whatever random stuff we get, we get. This is also getting a little bit hot over here, actually. No, which I don't love. This is actually quite nice, but this is actually too hot from the spawn. So, uh, funnily enough, we may need some cooling, some base cooling for this uh, this series planetoid, which would be rather interesting. Um, I do hate putting cooling loops into base areas; they take so much time. Um, but we will do it if we need to. Well, exactly. I mean, you know, s same with rhyme. If you played rhyme long enough, it just Stove eats. Simple as that. Um, okay. Yeah, we are. We're actually running out of steam over here. Um, we've really got to uh, get this going. Okay, cool. We do have a load of steel, so we can storage bin back in here. I want to sweep this tungsten. Out. Is there niobium in here as well? No. Okay. Get that tungsten out. Hi, Capricosa. Welcome in. Come in. Graphite niobium. Uh, tungsten. Up there over there. This is flooded for some reason. I guess melty stuff again. Okay, how are we doing on plastic? Pipe blocked. Ooh, yuck. Uh, okay. We'll replace this one with a uh, high pressure vent, that'll be the one. Move dog is 100 stress. That's not good. What's he's an ugly crier? Have too many skills, or we broken some rooms? Mess hall. Why is this a mess hall? Not a great hall. Body temperature. Ooh, we're overheating in here. Do we have any ice? We don't have any ice. Uh, okay. Can we take this up and change it? Like a joyous seed will be fine. Don't warm it up and you don't need to cool it. I mean, that's not math. That's... We, we Anyway, I need to cool it up, uh, warm it up. Because, uh... Building melted conductive wire. 
Oh no. Uh, this was too hot for lead. Uh, whoops. Okay, well I guess we got some molten lead in there. Um, okay, not mercury. I guess we can just use some steel. That's all we've got left. The lead melted. Yeah. I did think we might get away with that. I mean, 300 degrees. What's the melting point of lead? Uh, I don't know. I thought it was... Was it 280? Not... Why not tungsten? Because I want the tungsten for the thermium. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> that is hot. That is hot down there. Anyway, anything will be fine except lead, probably. Okay. My pressure gas vent, please. In two minutes. Okay, looks like we had a little, little meteor shower. Which does do that. Okay, that one survived. We'll go it over here. Pick that out. Gas vent. Is there a gas vent in here? Oh, okay. We had some oxalite showers. We need to harvest this oxalite. It'd be useful. Okay, the, at least the cobalt. The cobalt production is running out of power. Okay, I guess with these solar sort of panels out of action, it's kind of hitting the power. Okay. It's all coming, guys. It's all coming. It's just, uh, there is a chain of events that needs to, needs to be unlocked here. Okay. Please get this done. Tubes. Go, go, go. Just want to finish what I'm looking at. I guess we need a pole down here. Hmm. We've got a pole down here, but not down here. There's room for one. Can we... Do we have... We have a lot of iron ore. The glass forge is kind of in the way. This is also kind of in the way. We'll just put that in. Put it in a, in a hole. We're also going to take this out and just move this over one. So we can put that in. Oh, this is kind of annoying. Didn't think about that. Could have, in theory, put the pump and stuff on the other side. I guess we should just move this over at some point. Uh, rearrange that. Refinery still going. We are at least making steel now. Move the pipe and vent from and to the glass forge. Oh yeah, true. I don't have any ceramic. This is all just side side quest stuff. Yeah, I need them building this. Also, probably now makes sense why I'm using yellow alert, because nothing else is getting done. Okay. Cool. Right, I view that this, the plastic is continuing. It's good. Just need to get to 2,000 quickly. Uh, the joy seed. We have a joy. Perfect. That. will give us the great hole back. Okay, this area is still okay for the mealwood. We have to be a bit careful with heat everywhere. Heat and power are actually more of a pain than you think about. Because when you're on one planetoid, it's fairly straightforward. Trying to do it across multiple planetoids, it's, it's tricky getting all this stuff set up and having them live at the same time. Okay. 
Okay. Maybe to make some more iron. I mean, I at least want this one going because can can start pumping out. Even if it's only twelve hundred. Explain how you manage the priorities and schedule. I mean, well, not very well. Yeah, we'll go. The uh, yeah, I feel like the um, the priority management's a bit out of whack right now because everything seems to be very high priority. But generally, early on, I tend to avoid the dupe priority system because this can override your numbers, and usually, I like to have the numbers able to choose what I want them to do at any one time. And if you have this, it overrides it. But once you later on, you've got more dupes, you can kind of specialize. Um, you know, it may help to use to kind of have one on each one. Exactly, get mad, nothing else done. Uh, then otherwise, I mean, I have the story bite on it, but basically you want to nine the stuff that you want done immediately. And then uh, I kind of have different guidelines. Five is like, do it when you have time. Six is slightly more important than that. Seven is fairly high priority. Eight is high priority, but not immediate. Nine is do it immediately as soon as it becomes available. Yeah, well, the problem is I've got a lot of stuff which is um, do as soon as it becomes available. And I don't have enough dupes that are actually doing it. Uh, so that's why, I, yeah, I mean, I've so all my food errands and my ranching errands are priority nine. Um, but they seem to be spending all day just making food. I guess because I have a lot of bottomless dupes as well. Bottomless stomach dupes also, they just don't get as much done as normal dupes. Because they spend so much time eating and going to eat. So, uh, yeah, watch out for those ones. They're just way less productive than normal ones. Should have thought about that, but the carnivore, it made sense. So, it's just now they're more annoying. Be careful with bottomless stomach tubes. Okay. So, we're almost there. Kind of three quarters of the way there. Um, a million food. Yeah, but then it'll all start rotting and it'll start running out. So the the, the way I measure food as well um, is I don't measure how much I've got. I measure how much is kind of coming in and out. Uh, yeah, I could do that, but then I'd have to retrain them all. It'd be really annoying. It's, uh... Yeah, I guess this just... It's not getting done because they're using iron, which is not available. We'll try steel. Yeah, we'll see. I know this is we're in a little bit of a waiting game right now, but everything will come together very shortly once we uh, get this going. All right, Razor's got to disappear. All right, new big boss. Go, uh, go, please the boss. Pretend to be productive. Um, open up those spreadsheets. Do good things. Oh, and red bolt propulsion as well. Cool. So. That's a bit more research done. We can grab the mining phone and then head for uh, head for the hydrogen engine if we wish. And exactly, don't actually do anything. Just just look busy. Uh, okay. So yeah, once we get the plastic, then we can bring that across, and we'll get the steel. Uh, With the plastic and steel, we can then send this to the third planetoid, and then that will start setting up our uh, um, our reactors, uh, steam turbine, nuclear reactor. We can put that going. We can also grab some gold magma from here, go to the second planetoid. Second planetoid will take that, build the infinite water storage, and then that will allow us to put the petroleum boiler in. So, oh, we need thermium for this planetoid. Mm, okay, we need to grab some thermium. So yeah, it's all a bit of a chain reaction right now, basically. Uh, wrong food boy. You know, berry and pemmican. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I had, I have had a lot of problems with that in the past. I will tell you. In terms of, um, yeah, food running out, going off, and then suddenly you have way less food than you thought you did, and then, and you have some dead astronauts, or you have some reloads. You know, it's, uh, yeah, it's tricky. You do really have to watch those. Okay, cool. Right, this was built finally, so 
Um, the sour gas will slowly start coming out and we'll get this built on the next one. And hopefully that'll also allow the steam to just filter back back in. Uh, and then what we can also do is rehook this back up. This is 85% complete, so maybe if we just fill it from the main supply, we can sell a bit more. And the other vent in the swampy asteroid. Uh, which vent? Oh, this one? Yeah, well, they can just build that. It's on priority four, so if they've got nothing else to do, they can just build it, but they won't prioritise that, so that's fine. Okay, yeah, so we'll just put the, pull this gas out. I mean, 500 kilos at a time is a bit slow, but we will manage it. Slowly, slowly, and then, yeah, this one will come on as well, and then we'll be pulling all kilo out. The reason why it's all grouping over here is because of the density. Um, so it should move to the left, hopefully. We've got the uh, shiny copper light. Uh, we can also display those as well. I think we're, we, we're working our way through. Um, Cosmic Archaeology, right, okay, uh, got about our telescoper, so we've got one tile here that's got nothing on it, but I'm going to reveal it, because uh, I want to, but yeah, we've done, oh, did we miss these ones as well, oh god, pretty hard to see actually which ones you've done and which ones you haven't, so, hmm, I think we've done everything up to here, right, that's my eyes are failing me, this all looks open, open, open. so we've just got this triangle here that I've missed, uh, that one tile there I'm just going to grab, and there's some down here, so... I'm losing heat on the right, I mean, no? Because the outside of here is 500 degrees, so... Uh, yeah, this is actually pulling heat in, not not taking it out. Surprisingly enough. Keep running out of suits up here. Da -da -da. Okay. Yeah, this whole area is hot. But really, I need to get this vacuumed. I mean, it was vacuumed, but... Yeah, it's pretty hot. It's really hot down here. Okay. Good. Let's pull all the sour gas out. Slowly, slowly. Okay, there. Ooh, shoves. Um... Guess we can take him on here. Shelves will be useful, but they will be on the regular planetoid. We we have not visited the regular planetoid, so yeah, we don't need to worry too much about keeping shelf bugs alive for now. But uh, we will use them later. They are very useful creatures. Good amounts of meat, though not still not as much as the mammoths anymore. So they've been surpassed as the uh, best source of food, of meat anyway. Biggest source of meat. I mean, you can argue what's best. The the shove hole salvation rocks are still really good, um, and still works. So, no. Okay. Okay, this is unreachable. It's unreachable too. Probably. It's all unreachable, so why does this keep burying with sand? Um is this a this is a thing? Maybe um hmm yeah. I think what I need to do is put a, a robo miner down, honestly, because these things just keep getting buried under their own output. I assume it's the impurities. I don't tell you everything. Well I'll just murder them and just take them as meat, I think. When they hatch, I'm not. Yeah. Say so I don't need to keep them alive. Kind of what I was working out. Uh, yeah. Cool. There's a lot of stuff going on down here, so yeah, progress. Uh, okay. So what we'll do is we'll turn on this one. We'll set plastic. Okay. Hopefully, Boob Dog's de-stressing with the Great Hall we've reinstated. Our. Hmm. Okay, 
We'll just cut this because this is generating too many errands and and taking power. So leave that for a sec. We can get the nice nice ton of plastic. Is Joe still stuck up here? Yeah, they really aren't doing priority nines anymore, are they? They're just they've just given up on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so maybe we just put a uh, aroma uh, mine up. You could also put in a uh, like an auto sweeper and just grab this free stuff. But I guess we'll just come in and steal it if uh, if we need it. Aroma minus two, right? How much? The, I need 1400 thermium or 1200 for the aquatune. Yeah, okay, we will do that, although I need more thermium. Um, okay, we can make a lot of thermium, so that's fine. That's fine. But we'll just wait. So much power, look at that. All good. Attempts are okay. I mean, we're in the in the sixties for the uh, for the steam turbines themselves. The surrounding area is still a bit hot. Some obsidians here. So yeah, I mean, not too worrying. Still three hundred over here. I guess this is meh. Yeah, there was all the obsidian up here that's holding the heat. But I mean, this is as working as intended, although... Okay. We have a bit too much steam in here. Which has jammed my pump. But, I mean, look at that. This is which is even just one pump. It's doing a nice job of uh, pulling this down. Uh, I guess we'll just disconnect the this flow again. Okay, just let it pull the water out. So we need the gas down below 20 kilos of tile. More than that, more than that should be fine, but it doesn't work so well for pumping out, obviously. So, hmm. these probably 10 kilos a second. They are, hmm. but also push, putting it back in. Okay. Yeah, I think that one was replaced. Here yeah, we on plastic. Plastic, we have zero. And off plastic. We have two tons exactly. Although, I don't know if any of some of it's been stored already, which is good. Uh, is it sort of about geothermal going to be in the future? Um, y uh, yes, okay, then that probably makes sense, wouldn't it? I should, uh, I should do that. I don't think I have it on my list, or do I? Let me just check my, my idea list. Let's see. It's not on there, so I will add it. I think it should be quite a short one. Because, uh, I mean, it's pretty much just unblock it, let it go, slap some turbines on it. That was good, basically. So, it should be fine. Right, it's, it's, it's not that difficult. I mean, it's way easier than a normal geo, like what you normally mean by geothermal. I.e. something like this heat spike and steam turbines. Simpler than this. Okay. Just try and pull this all, all this um, the liquid further in. We'll solidify we can dig we've almost reached the nat gas geyser which is not really our main type <laughs> oh I'm sorry I don't mean to uh the bamboo mm -hmm. but yeah I mean it's it's box it up right I suppose it feed the six some steam, steam turbines on it with a cooling loop so fairly normal stuff Run the um the steam turbine output back into the into the heat pump, 
And that's pretty much it. And then apparently built some probe miners. Alright, well, yeah, don't worry. I've just added it to the list. Thank you for pointing that out. I mean, that was a pretty obvious one I should have had on there. Uh, yes, yes, obvious co course we've got British Torobites first, by the looks of it, and then probably the plants after that. Right, let's grab the third print of the week. See what we got. Uh, we've had some mediocre prints and a third one to follow. There you go. Been way too long. Game's punishing me. So. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Too much steam. There is too much steam. I wish I had a low pressure in here. I'm way too empty that. I think this was done. 2,800. 1,000. 1,000. That's good. Okay. So the last thing I need there then is the thermium. You have enough. Um, but if I... if I, So I want to put it in this storage bin. If I swap it now, then they may start taking the steel, which would not be good. Although we do have some backups because I've asked them to put steel on here now. They probably wouldn't take it, but... I'm just going to wait for them to finish this wire before I swap that over to Thermium. And then uh, then we can go... Mm, go... Take off. Okay, right. 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 9. So if I go here... Is that worth doing? Uh... Uh, two, one. Well, I guess this is worth doing, although... I won't be able to get this one anyway. Okay, well let's just send it. I think it's better to do it than not do it, since he's already out here. Um, yeah, I'm not expecting there to be a lot more points of interest and stuff out here. I just want to fully reveal the star map, because, you know, there's the everything base, so we need to, we need to do that. As a goal, I randomly set for myself. I really should have made this out of obsidian as well, rather than run it. Since it was already close. Uh, always put out local materials, guys. That is a, a good idea. Uh, don't make that mistake like me. No egg available. Well, that's not good. Eight, eight, six, go. <laughs> yep. Okay, let's see if we can get this done. For about 30 minutes, sorry, same by as usual. Now. Yeah, well, well, you should be back for the last third and final episode. Um, about 30 minutes, that's about how much we got left. So, thanks for popping in for this one and hacking them. Hopefully, we'll see you in the next one. As I, I like to say. I didn't really mean to make that my outro, but it just kind of stuck. Um, yeah, it's funny how these things these things just happen, you know. Don't don't plan these. Or at least I don't. Maybe there are there are more planned people. I like how they walk in the lead and it solidifies it. Oh jeez! Jeez wagon, welcome back. Been a hot minute, you alright? How are we doing? Happy Tuesday. Okay, good. Steel. Cool. So what I'll do is I can drop this. I'll put a thermium and I'll put 1400 thermium on there. We can just grab that. And then I'll use that on the second planetoid for the... Um, Willa. For some sour gas. Yeah, I mean, we. Uh, this stuff was not made on purpose. So I'm trying to get rid of it from the geothermal build. Although, actually, this isn't even going to work, because the steam pressure is too high. Ah, there's nowhere I can really dump it. Other than... I could, I could, I suppose, dump it up here. But 
We'll dump it up here and cool it down. There you go. Okay. Cool, and I want to get that rocket going. How much oxygen have we got here? 1400, nice. That is a lot of oxygen. Okay. Yeah, then we'll just get rid of the sour gas. Uh, we will have a sour gas boiler in the future. That is on in the plans. Uh, we're not, we, don't, we haven't got there yet. Come on, checkmate. Checkmate, see that, mate? I don't know. Someone mentioned on YouTube, it's probably meant to be pronounced checkmate. But he never corrected me. So he was always CZ. I don't know. Completely missed that pun. Uh, okay. I don't know why suits... As soon as everyone comes in here with their suit, it just dies. It's rather annoying. Because um, I want to take this... Have take off here. Okay, Tim's on it. I'll take this Atmo suit out as well. Should be requested to the Exosuit Forge. Yeah. Oh. Get him out, and then we're going to send this one. Send it. Cool. And I guess over here, everyone's just chilling. I mean, yeah. Oh, we've got six tons of cobalt, so that's that's almost there. And then over here, right? We managed to dig that out, which is good. Ideally, I'd dig this side out too. But that would mean going into the lava, which is not ideal. Annoyingly, there's no way round this. Unless we built some kind of liquid lock, we could in theory get in from the right side with a vacuum... Uh, vacuum liquid lock over here. Like that. We may be able to sneak in here like this. Uh, we've played the DLC yet. This is the DLC. Oh, yes, we are in the DLC. This is a series asteroid, series cluster on the Space Out DLC. So, yes, we are playing it. Um, and we've, we've kind of got past the early game stuff, so it might be why. We're not seeing it so much. We're really expanding, but yeah, we are we are using new stuff. I mean, this is new stuff too. This uh, geo event is entirely new. It just doesn't exist in, without without it. So yeah, okay, get rid of this cell, I guess. Okay, right. Rocket is on way. We are on route. So yeah, we, this, this rocket's basically got to do some deliveries for us. Uh, behind all the... <laughs> uh, right. Okay, that was not great. Uh, yeah, that's how I guess got in there. This is meant to be a vacuum. Fortunately, this liquid lock's still holding for now. Yeah, this, this looks like this will hold, so we have a vacuum liquid lock. We can probably go in there and dig this if we wish. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's a lot of purple. I'm trying to deal with the purple, alright? The purple is, is going to space. So, uh, give it... Give it a few cycles and hopefully we'll have we'll have most of this tidied up. Then you can you can see them nice and clearly. Uh, and we're all good. Right. Print. Oh, sand. Can we take sand on here. That would be nice. We need sand. That's quite big actually for this plantoid. 
Although, can they eat sand? That just can't eat sand, can they? Oh my god, that's a big list. Um, they do eat sand, the buggers. We gotta... I think I just saw them... I think they've eaten a ton of sand in one go. It's gonna be none left. Oh god. I think that's it. Did I... I got... Th Great. I just put three tons and they just ate two, two and a half tons of it immediately. Damn hatches. Let's move them over here. Yeah, let's do that. Alright. Stop that happening again. That was extremely frustrating. Could have used that. This is going to be the... This is the random critter area. Well, I don't want to kill them. But I don't want them eating stuff. Uh, what you pumped them out in the lead poop? I put um, petroleum through the metal refinery once, and then sent it in. Uh, fairly, fairly straightforwardly does the job. Okay, come on, go away, gas. What? Why is this broken? Uh, not at all related to this mess. Uh, yes, yes. Um, yeah, because you know when the when the petroleum went through and then got superheated. Well, you I mean you know. You know what happens when you superheat petroleum? You get sour gas. So... Yeah, slightly related to this mess. Didn't really think about that. Uh, probably should have done. Maybe there's a more elegant way of doing it. Um, so if there is, let me know. Because we're going to make a tutorial by it. We should probably sort that out. Uh, okay. Right. I mean, it's the first time I've played with it, so you know, that stuff was stuff was going to happen. Um, oh, did I send twenty eight hundred? I need twenty four hundred. Also, oh, I haven't made this wide enough. Because I need a uh, thermo center in the middle. Oh, I didn't think this through. We actually have enough to to build these either one, two Huh Missing resources. What are you on about? Oh it's grounded, okay. On ground. There we go. Five, six, seven, eight. I've run out of that, okay. Oh, this is with, um, hmm, okay, okay, also, yeah, my design uses polluted water. I could put, um, super on here, but then also I have so much power anyway. Steel pump in here. Like that. Uh, we will need to power something in here. Am I sending in two? I can send in two normal ones. Yeah, probably the easiest way. Cool. Need more cobalt. Uh, guess not much has changed. <laughs> uh, actually, I did have a funny comment that was like, um, I don't know if he seemed upset, but he was like, are you just playing badly on purpose for, for entertainment? Like, surely you know better than this. It's like, kind of, kind of not. I mean, you know, I I do not purposely make mistakes, but I also play quite quickly and quite loosely. Uh, you know, I don't sit here planning every like, minor thing out. 
and and sometimes my brain just jumps to a solution even if it's not the best solution um you know and doing the stream takes takes mental energy too it's kind of hard to uh, do both but uh, yeah i do i do not intentionally play badly in case anyone was wondering to that effect uh, sometimes things go wrong i don't mind too much when you do because you know they Usually then it becomes entertaining, so I'm okay with that. I'll up that. Uh so what on earth happened here? Big man has a suit. How did... Oh, for... Who is it? Who? Who? Oh, how's it? Something happened here. Something weird happened here. Ugh. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so... Uh, Wolfrat and Big Man. Yeah, Wolfrat... Well, yeah, that, I mean, that is, that is another fair point, is I do know a lot of stuff. Okay, Pogrosh. Wolf rat. What happened to the suits? I don't understand. Uh, where, where are my suits? Where are my suits? Uh, because only, only the two of them should have it on. Unless they came through here. Uh, we should, uh, yeah, I think some, some suit shenanigans have gone on. I don't know what happened. Something weird happened. Uh, yeah, let's lock that just to stop any. Well, there's no, there's no checkpoint here. Okay, that's fine. We're making odds. like to we just dig the stuff out this will we will get a bit scolded on this side annoyingly unless I put in some kind of uh, gas pump to to remove it although I don't have any way to do it but we'll just take a little bit of scolding down to here um, just want to put out as much liquid as possible we were all healed up I think we are Yeah, then our um, our space goers can. Uh, so I can set this to crew only, right? Oh, crew may not leave the module. That's not what I want. Okay. Cool. Bit more cobalt. Just need another one here. Yeah, I'll we'll have to put some transformers somewhere. We'll also need to power grid this, which I didn't think about. We could come in the top, or we could... Uh, we could do it the other way. Conductive plate. Conductive plate wouldn't be bad. That way we can uh, replace it later, should we wish. Let's see if we run this one over. Okay, and I need two transformers, so uh, we'll do that, we'll do that. Back to that, that's that. Uh, we're gonna put a box around that, I assume. Uh, and then yeah, I think this is where it's golden I don't know. I think we we can afford this. 
400. Uh, uh, yeah. Let's go leave around that way. I don't know that one. Okay, that gives that looks something reasonable. Um, there's a good bit of building this, there's quite a bit to do. No protus. Unreachable food, wolf rat. Uh, what's happening to our suits? Oh, they're taking the suit. They're stealing the suits from the inside. Boof dog scolding. Yeah, we know. Uh... All right, well, thanks for popping in, Ori. I assume you're you're leaving. I gather by your message. But, uh, thanks for saying hello. Good to see you as always. Hopefully, you pop back in at some point. Yeah. I'll keep playing. Don't you? you don't have to worry about me. <laughs> you can't stop me. Uh, okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. We will. We will take some scoldings to dig this out, but. Yeah, we'll we'll take it. Unfortunately, high stress, big boss. Oh, is he still out here? I really keep forgetting about big boss. It's not it's not good. He is having a sad time out there. Uh, I, I, there's too much stuff going on. Uh, three three plant toys is already enough. This one's venting, okay. Uh, I'm actually just going to cut this one for now. We've got a lot of steam in here. I'm going to connect that up to that now. Okay, alright, it's running on its own... On its own theme here, yeah. okay. It'd be nice to get rid of all of it, but I think dripping water on it is actually going to destroy, does destroy some of it, maybe. Not sure. Maybe it just displaces it, but I think that will slowly destroy it. Plus we're still pumping out from there. And then uh, we could also clean this out if we wanted to, make this something a bit nicer, I don't know. Uh, You'll see, not super urgent. Okay. Come on. A bit more cobalt. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to... There's a lot of build for this. The, the nuclear reactor takes a lot of building. Ah, uh, can't do that either. There's just a lot of stuff in it. Um... Unfortunately, unfortunately. So, ah, we have the skill as well. Would it work? Hope that doesn't put her over. We'll see. Uh, so yeah, we just got to feed the feed the shipping in from either side. Either side's fine. Uh, Put that there, auto sweeper, and steel should be fine. I hope this is okay. Uh, although, yeah, okay, no. in my design it's actually on the other side, so I guess we should honour that, because I probably should have moved this one left if I wanted wanted that shape. Um, oof, yeah, we're going to need a lot more refined metal for wire too, so I guess we better... Uh, Gotta whack those numbers up. Okay. Yeah. That means we can get the plastic off the off the ship. It's important. Hmm. 
I wonder if there's a way to set the permissions. Save. Right, yeah, let's refill the suits. They keep nicking suits. Ideally, I only want my, my astronauts to use the suits, but the normal pilots, that's not happening. Okay. Yeah, need more cobalt is the answer. But this is starting to take shape now, at least, which is good. Uh, there's also, I realise, there's no room for a pump here. Uh, do I actually want to use this later? This is not going to work. Uh, I guess we're going to have to go like this. Uh, in fact, we've just knocked the corner off that. Actually, that was getting it. Yeah, we'll, we'll do something like this, and then we can actually get to this Nat Gas Geyser and tame it later on, if we want to. I mean... I don't think there's any need, but it's the everything base, so, you know, I guess we should. We'll see. I'm not hugely uh, fussed about that, but do what we can. Okay. Hmm. This is still storing water, I see. Hmm. Cool. Yeah, carbon dioxide is alright as well. So yeah, this is the uh, the main the main goings on in the base right now. Okay, so our gas is coming down. Yeah, I th I think as it gets tripped on, it'll just get deleted eventually. Oh, look, nice and neat and tidy. After a little bit of time. But I mean, this is already working. It's working so. Uh, at the start of this episode, was it working? I think it was kind of working, but, you know, there you go, we fully got the geothermal working. Okay. We'll do a, uh, a video about that. We we do really need um, robo miners, though. Highly recommend. Because uh, apparently these keep getting, getting stuffed with stuff. Um, we got, oh, more shovels, okay. Weird. We'll take them. So it's just free food at the end of the day, so... Can't complain. Okay, magma is disappearing, I think. Poop Dog is recovering. Ready to go back in. I mean, this is unreachable, but okay. Oh, cool. I just want to make sure the plastic gets delivered. So that's uh, really important. All frets on it here. I think there's loads of slime along everywhere. Yeah. So I do want to replace this with a spawn, but we need a water source and we do not have enough water here. Um, we do not have enough sand to make water. Which is the damn hatches ate all the sand. They also seem to not be being moved up here. Uh, maybe it's just not high enough priority. But they're still there. Okay, we just need another 200 and we can build the last steam turbine. Then we will pick up some gold amalgam. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll change these two to thermium. Uh, dump that out of here and then put gold amalgam on here. And I'll probably just grab a load of this stuff. Because it's really good stuff. That's really annoying we don't have it. Just grab 10 tons, why not? Grab 20 actually. Oh, that's six. Uh, yeah, we'll just grab, just grab a load of gold amount of them. Sure, why not? Okay, who's to put a suit on, Bug Rush? Because I 
sort of manage the suits away a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think Booth dogs up. Still injured a little bit. 100 out of 100, though. Maybe it's just a visual bug. It's a visual bug where the health remains. Health bar stays up even though they're fully healed. Okay. Be sure he's eating for a long time, but he'll come dig this up. We managed to do a uh, good job over here, I think. Um. I'm kind of tempted to try and push the back of right, even if it's in a little bit. Probably doesn't really matter, we've got a lot of hot debris everywhere. Uh, oh, there's also this magma pool. So the question is, do we... Do I unleash this magma pool? Um, I mean, I do kind of need to get over here. I could... In theory, I could kind of corner build and wall this off. That may be the better way to do it. Um... I mean, if we if we walk this off, we don't need to go over here, right? We just we'll just leave this area to to its nat natural state. Uh, we don't need to come over here, so yeah, I think if we can do that, that would be good. But uh, the question is, how do we not scold and get over there to do it? Everything else, we will need to. Um, dig. Okay. Dog scolding a bit. Don't get on that. Okay, no, right. yeah, he's taking a bit of damage, but he'll be alright. Uh, running out of metals. I'm try and drain all this stuff. Just <laughs> some magma dropping. Okay, we could we could maybe not stand in it. The reason why I built the ladders boob dog, and there's a clue here, is so you don't stand in the super hot lava and get injured. But yeah, this stuff we will have to pop in and out. I don't know if that actually works or not. As long as he's in out. It's so much fun to stand. I know, Zari. They love it. Keep him in and out. Uh, right, but I have reached, more or less, I think, the end of uh, the second episode. I have to do my summary. Oh, I don't have to do this one without putting a thing in there. Uh, so I'll do my quick wrap up. I mean, in terms of the second planet void, we haven't really, no. we haven't done that much down here. Uh, indeed, by YouTube, very shortly. Um, so just kind of continuing this, this drilling over here. Uh, I want to get that cleared out. On the third planet void, you made a lot of progress. Actually, we have the biggest, biggest one over here. Perfect. That last one in. So we have we brought the steel and the plastic over. We now have more than the bare bones of a um, of a nuclear setup, so we will hopefully get this turned on relatively soon. I mean, uh, there's not a lot stopping us, so uh, yeah, we can we can do that. That's been really good. And then the geothermal down the bottom of the main planetoid, the series one, is up and running. It's fully running, um, and yeah, it's still trying to get the sour gas out. But other than that, not too bad. Uh, and that's all we've done. We're still telescoping, of course. That continues in the background. But uh, that's it for this episode. Thank you guys very much for watching this one. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.